Uh, so Paul, now we went to Trunganu yes. and you were here making Having a lot of fun making the noodles for Laksa Trunganu. Yeah, and also we had two different types of Laksa in Trunganu. Very, very interesting. The red and, one yeah. and the white one. Yeah, and we're going to feature both of them in this next cooking segment. But also we went to Malacca yes. to experience Laksa Nyonya Malacca. One of my favorite laksas. I don't mean to be biased, but it was really good. Maybe it's just Donald and Lily. Maybe it's laksa nyonya, but it was amazing. <laughs> Great. And then our two masters of Malaysian cuisine chef, Rene and Zaleha, made something called laksam. Which is also from Tronganu. Yeah, Tronganu so. and Kelantan. Yeah, that, and, and Pahang as well. They all have a version of laksam, which is basically like laksa, except they serve them with noodle rolls, yeah. right? And finally, our very own Chef, Chef Joe, Joe makes a very unique laksa invention. <laughs> laksa yeah. roll. It's kind of like you have to watch it yeah. to find it's out. It's like the flavors of laksa, but in a rice roll. And I thought that was really cool because it's like almost laksa on the go. Whenever yeah. you feel like laksa, you can just eat a rice roll that tastes like laksa. Exactly. <laughs> Great. We're going to have a look. Uh, Kak Yah, uh, saya Jackie M dari Australia. Kak Yah akan uh, ajar saya bagaimana buat laksa Tengganu. Yes. Uh, two types, yes. uh, the, the red one and the white one, yeah. betul? Yes, okay, betul. jom kita buat okay, ya. So, okay, untuk kuah putih kita akan menggunakan ni bawang merah. Okay, kita kena hiris kan mana? Kita hiris dan kita tumbuk. Okay, okay. Uh, Bawang merah. Saya tolong ya. Okay, boleh. Dan juga halia. Okay, so we're using uh, onion and yes, uh, ginger. And ginger. Okay. Kita tak pakai bawang putih ya. Tak pakai bawang. Okay, so we're just using onion and ginger, and we're gonna just chop it up, and then we're gonna pound it. Oh, that's up. <laughs> A lot of smoke. Traditional. Traditional? Yeah. Sampai yeah. macam ni ya? Yeah. Sampai macam ni. Okay. okay. So we're gonna pound it until yes, it's yes. like this. Yeah. yeah. Lepas yeah. tu? Kita letak akan letak dalam periuk. Okay, yeah. letak dalam periuk. Dengan, Bersama ikan. Dengan ikan. Okay, so this is a uh, poached uh, sardine uh, dan selayang in Malay. It's called. So we're gonna combine these two. So th we're making the white laksa sauce first. So we're gonna put some coconut cream it's a rich coconut, a thick coconut milk cream or coconut milk and cooking this cukup dan asam keping ini ini ada kita pakai berapa keping? pakai berapa ya? macam ni cukup? boleh? okay, kita tengok okay. Oh, it's very soft. This is a uh, palm sugar. So we've added the asam keping, which is the ta tamarind slices, and a little bit of salt. And we'll just put a little bit of palm sugar. Uh, ni black pepper. Okay. 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 Yeah. Ni yang. Okay. Okay. Dan juga bawang putih. Okay, lengkuas kita kena pakai uh, berapa ya? Sikit je. Okay, macam ni cukup? Uh, sikit lebih sikit. Okay. 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 Boleh? Okay. Ini uh, kunyit berapa? Kunyit uh, sikit lagi. Okay. Cukup? Oh, okay. So this is what it looks yeah, like when yeah. it's made. Okay, great. The the dish, you get yeah. Oh, okay. You're gonna fry this. Okay. So oil. Okay. Okay. Ini minyak kelapa sawit. Minyak masak. 
minyak masak. Okay, cooking oil. Dan kita akan buat belum. Kita akan letak ini chili. Chili, ini chili, chili paste. Ini semua. So we have the star anise, the cardamom, uh, the cinnamon, and ini pun cardamom. Sama. Okay, okay, sama. Okay, okay, that's it. So star anise, uh, cinnamon, and cardamom. Okay, okay. So the the, the dry uh, the chili powder is to make it look more attractive. Okay. So putting the cinnamon and the sour anise. Okay. Now we're gonna add the rest of the paste that we blended earlier. Rempah kari. Okay. Kita guna rempah kari cakros. Okay. Rempah gulai cakros. Dan ini rempah masak. Okay. Saya tak pernah tak tak pernah rasa tak pernah pakai. Okay. So we just adding a little bit of local curry mixes. Two different types. And this one here, the first one here, it says rempah masak, like cooking spice paste. And it's got coriander, fennel, uh, cinnamon, sour anise, cumin, turmeric, buah pelaga. Buah pelaga is what, yeah? and And this one has fairly similar stuff. And it's also got chili and that as well. Okay, so they're very similar ingredients. Just just to kind of add the extra oomph to it. Ini uh, ikan selayang, yeah? So we're just pounding the fish. Okay, okay. So we're gonna add the santan now. We're going to add the fish, we're going to add the uh, MSG, we're going to add the seasoning and we're also actually going to add, uh, this is tamarind and, oh, oh this is karisic, sorry, we're adding karisic which is the uh, coconut butter basically, Roast, roasted coconut butter, uh, some kuping, okay, tamarind slices. That's it. Ready? Is it? Okay. So, so now we're going to chop the vegetable. Okay. Okay. Vegetable. Great. Indonesian and Indonesian bay leaf. Okay, Indonesian bay leaf. Oh, that's what it looks like. Okay. Bunga kantan. That's a ginger flower. Ginger. Yes. Yep. Long bean. Yep. Uh, long bean. Yep. Kacang panjang and gobis. Yeah. Cabbage. Cucumber. Okay. Okay. So we have to make the sambal. Is it yes. for the laksa? Okay. We're gonna use the chili ni tak ada perisa ya? Ah, chili ni dah ada perisa. Dah ada, ada apa? Belacan. Belacan. Okay. Oh, okay. So this uh, chili paste already has some seasoning in it. It's got salt, sugar, uh, 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 bird's eye chilies, and and chili lagi, kering, ya? uh, chili and dried chilies, uh, chili padi, chili besi, chili merah dan chili kering, belacan dan juga garam. Okay, uh, salt and shrimp paste. Limau ya. Limau, sorry, okay. sorry. Oh, limau. Okay. Lime. So we got the lime. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. So this is the same condiment we use for the white laksa or the red laksa, and the same um, sides as well. So we've got the fresh belacan. We've got the chili sambal which has belacan and a little bit of sugar no, yes. and salt yes. and what's lagi ya? belacan, garam, dan juga chili kering, chili api dan okay. chili merah okay. okay, so three types of chili, the big chilies, the small chilies and the dried chilies
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? What is that one? Left arm. Hi Jennifer. Good so good morning. What are you doing today? So you're gonna teach us how to make the nyonya laksa, right? Yes. So galanga, shallots, fresh turmeric, garlic, lemon grass, candle nuts, and blachan. Yeah. Uh, everything I miss out here yeah, and dried chilies. First, um, with uh, lemon grass lah. Okay. This is what we do. Cut, okay. Clean them. Okay. Oh. Like bruising it, lah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So after sorting, you mm. still brew some lemongrass and. Ah uh, yes, will be much more fragrant. Yeah. Okay. Good tip. This one already sorted, already. Yeah. Okay. Sorted for a long time, right? For long, long time. Long, long time. <laughs> two, two to three hours. Yeah, if it's like my walk, I take six hours to do it. Okay, some water. Water? Just so lemongrass, the sauteed mm. spice paste, yes. and uh, water. Water. Bring it to a bowl. The coconut milk you add it later, right? Yeah. So, so that, that uh, yeah. Yeah, so that we call it don't mm. tak pecah minyak. Yeah, correct. That the coconut milk does not separate from your from your gravy. Yeah, that's right. So 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 they can add how much water they want mm, depending how also how thick how thick you want to be yes, you put in your salt salt it's a bit of sugar not too sweet okay and then uh, just a towel Tofu puffs, okay. Bring it. Bring it to a boil, yeah. and that's your gravy for your laksa, right? Correct. So this is already boiled. You can see that the the oil has separated, mm -hmm. and the color is really beautiful. Okay, so uh, ladle ladle the gravy over when it's hot, piping hot, so that it's all nice. It's not too soggy. Your noodles are not soggy. You're not supposed to be mushy. Yeah. Just heating up the noodles. Yeah. And um, for some vegan friends, um, you can omit not putting your your eggs or your cockles. You can just serve it like that. Because if, the, if you do not put any seafood whatsoever inside, because the garnishing is cucumber, polygonum, sambal. Sambal which is just chili and shallots. So then you garnish it with cucumber, julien cucumber, fish cake. So for vegan, you don't put in the fish cake. And uh, fish balls, egg, cockles. You don't like it. Uh, cockles don't like it so cooked. So you can just yeah. put on top later. But the original laksa is with cockles. And then some some families uses prawns, fresh prawns, but not dried prawns, fresh prawns. So sambal, you dollop it with sambal. And the oh. most important is the polygonum leaves. Okay. Okay. And that's here you go, the Melaka Nyonya Laksa.
Renee. Hi, Zaleha. Apa khabar? How are you? Very good. 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 Very yeah. well. Yeah. So, yeah, we're here today. Both of us from other parts of the world. Exactly. In Malaysia to do this uh, street food and also our laksa by itself. Laksa. Right? So, here, what we do is that we just need a bowl here mm -hmm. and a little bit of water, mm -hmm. right, to, to make the dough itself. Okay. We have a little bit of salt. Okay. A pinch of oil. Just All a right? pinch of oil. Yeah. So, what we do now, we just mix all the flour in. Okay. All three flours goes together. Yeah, goes together. So okay. don't worry. I mean, don't worry about uh, which one to go first. But you okay. know, they are all dry ingredients. Okay. So yeah, laksa. I mean, it's it's a very close one to me as well. From the east coast, uh, born in Trengganu. You're born in so Trengganu. So obviously, laksa. Uh, we have two different laksa actually. Okay. The version itself. Uh, this the one today we're gonna make. By the way, is the white one, right? Okay, the white sauce. Yeah. Okay. So we That's also my favorite as well. So. Yes. I put a little bit of salt earlier. Okay. Right. So and now we grow the water. So one other tips is that the water needs to be swam swam kuku. What we say. Slightly so warm. Slightly warm. Slightly so not it's hot. like body warm. Okay. So right? it's not hot. Yeah. And it's not tech. Not cold, too cold. cold. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we add it. A little bit at a time. Yes. So that you don't get that lump fill up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So do you, you don't have to toast the flour? Yeah. Like sangai, no need. No need. For no. for laksam, usually no. Okay. Yes, because you don't want that um, okay. texture. So Zaliha, so ah. earlier mm -hmm. we have this mix where this batter actually includes inclusive of uh, three flours okay. that we use. Mm. So we have the rice flour, then we have the wheat flour. Okay. And a little bit of tapioca flour. Tapioca flour. Yeah. Do you the do you do the back of the spoon test for this one yeah. or no? Um, this yes, yeah. you can. Okay. Yeah, but it's not the the one that you have uh, where it sticks, right? Ah, yeah, behind so it the has spoon. to be like gold. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the spoon. See? Yeah. Of course, spoon. Check. So you put the spoon. This is what uh, Zaleha mentioned ah, earlier, right? Okay. So, so it has to go. Gloss. Mm -hmm. Right. It's running. All right. So you just do that. Okay. So it splits. So meaning the dough is also well mixed. Okay. Ah, that. so it's perfect now. Yes. Do you put this as well? Okay. Yeah. How so much do you need? Just a drop, few drops, three. Yeah. Three? Like one. So one, two. Yeah. Two. That's yes. it. So it's about one and a half teaspoon. Maybe? Yeah, one and a okay. half teaspoon. Okay. Okay. So we let it rest okay. for twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. as earlier. So now we get. All the ingredients. We need the coconut milk. Okay. This is coconut cream. Coconut cream. Milk. Okay. Yeah. So we have the pot here. Mm -hmm. So for laksam mm -hmm. or this laksa in particular, mm -hmm. you don't sweat it. You don't nothing. Yes. You don't have to cook it on the stove okay. uh, with oil or such. Okay. So all the ingredient, the ingredients, fresh, mm -hmm. straight on into the pot. This you just quickly pound it. Okay. Goes in. So the lemongrass gives that again elevate that freshness where the nature to the shallots and the black pepper. And the black pepper. Oh, okay. So the sweetness of it, it just leaven it up, right? Put all the pounded yep. ingredients. So you have the pounded ingredients there. So is there any rule that how much if you put too much black pepper, it will be too Ooh, heaty? Yes. Okay. It'll be too much. Okay. Then maybe people might get it confused with uh, laksa Sarawak. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so you have this in. Okay, so you get the fish. That is the blend. The blend fish. that fish uh, flesh the meat. Flesh, yeah, yes. yeah. You can also use mortar pestle. Mortar pestle. You can oh, always okay. pound it, no problem at all. Don't worry. So like, if you use that, it will be slightly coarse, isn't it? Yes, okay. it will be slightly coarse. Okay, the so stock. in goes the broth earlier. Oh, okay, the stock goes in. Right, darker in color. Mm. So it will get too dark, so it's not good. So now we have the coconut milk, mm. goes in. Okay. Shall I try? It? Yes, please. Okay. Put the water in. A little bit more, I reckon. Yeah. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yes. So that when we put it on the stove, anyway, it will start to simmer up. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that the fish flesh itself, uh -huh. it also blooms. Ah. Right. So. And it will separate from the coconut milk. Yes. Mm. Okay. As now, I think the mix is already okay. well rested. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. so hop on to the stove. Okay. We say? Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so yep. here we have the steamer. Mm -hmm. 
for the noodle. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Then we have the gravy. Okay. Okay, so while we get to the steamer and the noodle, so the gravy we put it up the fire on. So you have the steamer here. Uh -huh. So we have a tray okay. for the noodle. Alright. Alright. So put it on. Steam on. Going to move away. So we just glaze the tray with a little bit of oil. Uh -huh. Alright. This is just to help the dough to just separate itself from the tray. When you push uh, it yeah, later after on. you push okay. it on later. Because you don't want it to stick it stick on the tray. Because the problem with the frying oil after that, when you keep your dough, the laksa, the laksa uh -huh. it will firm up, especially if you keep it in the fridge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nobody realized that until. Okay. Alright, so make sure the steamer is on. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's important, otherwise you don't get the steam <laughs> to cook it. Where you you can see a, a mirror-like, or you can see almost the base, but not too uh, thin. So like it goes, ah, yeah. okay. Okay, that should be fairly good. Okay. Okay, just over, over a little bit. Ah, right, so okay. Gonna, and we'll put the lid on. Put the lid on. Okay. Alright, that will take around maybe two, two good minutes. Two good minutes? Yeah. Oh, wow. Sure, yeah. So by texture wise, it should be fine. It's beautiful, it looks, look yeah. at it. Oh my so god. So you can see some black pepper bits there. Yeah, some and onion. All, and all these ingredients it will just uh, work well with the lemongrass earlier mm, right right so you have to cleverly play with the yeah, balance with the fish the anyways, yeah. you smell. can smell now oh, it smells so good. okay okay let's check how far we are what was it ah so just a little bit here and there it looks yeah. it's look nice and glossy isn't it yes wow so that's where the rice flour uh, also, so be careful, it's hot, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. So just stick your hand in. <laughs> See the side? Mm -hmm. So that you can manage them. So you have hands of steel. Okay. <laughs> there you okay. go. Because it's thin, so mm -hmm. it's not too hot, right? Ah. So just like that. Right, how thin it is, how very light it is. So you just do a quick one here. Flip it over. Beautiful. So nice. Right. Look at that. Okay, nice. so yes. the laksa noodle is ready. Right? Very nice. Look at how shiny it is. Shiny. Look at that. See this world? Yep. You see how lovely is that? Mm -hmm. So, another thing when you cook, you always touch it, it's not sticky. Mm -hmm. This is also an indication that the noodle is cooked. Okay. Okay, let's start the noodle. Okay. In. So we just, yeah, just cut it as such. You see. Alright, so you can use your thumb or mm -hmm. finger. Ah, yeah. to get or the, the thumb, cat. But okay. it's always the finger size is always good. Okay. Right? Yes. See the indication. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's keep going. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Very, very traditional. You bring back that moment. It brings back my childhood memories, uh, to be honest. Everyone so has that. Use, yeah. yeah. Cucumber? Yep. Alright, yeah. cucumber here. It's so a little bit of it, is it? Yeah. Just gonna roughly chop it, or uh, there's two ways. Okay. Some would roughly chop it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. uh, some would go. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, julienne. Okay. Yeah, some would julienne. So obviously, if you want to coarsely chop, this is what they always do. So just coarsely chop right. them. This is what street food the kampung. Yeah. Oh, would do, isn't it? Uh, just yeah. coarsely chop it. Okay. Yeah. Then. It's important. Good. Yeah. This is the touch. Wow. What can you replace if you can't get torch ginger abroad? That's the thing. Um, it's very unique. Hmm. Uh, replacing it, it can be tricky because this is not in the base of the gravy itself. Yes. So it's fair. Hmm. This actually helps up uh, on kind of balance up everything. The aroma, the smell, aromatic, the smell, yes. Yes. the uh, what do you call? Just just the condiments. Sprout. Yeah, yeah, sprouts, yeah, the condiments, cucumber. sprouts, cucumber. Mm. Actually, this gives the color itself, mm. right? True. So, see, it's not too thick. Yep. It's not too runny as well. Nice equal amount of the Perfect texture. fish itself. Okay, just put it around a little bit. There you go. That you make all the hard work pounding, mm. Zaleha, just now. Right? Mm, yeah. So, spoon of it. So, you can put as much as you like. Yep. Pop it out or very little. Perfect, look at that. Hmm. So, that's our 
That's our lot sum. Sum, right? Thank you so much, Chef, for showing me how to make the perfect lot sum. Nice. Thank yeah. you very much for Most showing welcome. me how to make that. It's really it's, nice. It's a treat. I can't wait to go for it. Enjoy. Hi, Chef Joe. Hi, good Hi, evening. How are you? Good evening. <laughs> good evening. All good. Evening. So, it's good to be back in Malaysia. Yeah, and right. And spending time with you. After right. two years. That's the thing. So, <laughs> yeah, MOMC. Yeah, yeah MOMC have uh, turned two yeah, years and okay. now we are here together yeah. in front of this beautiful ingredient right. and talking about laksa. Okay. Right. So, what we have here today, uh, this is the main ingredient where you can have in the laksa. Uh, of course, in laksa, you have salads. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes in Kedah laksa, you have those uh ulam ulam we call it it uh, are yeah, from the wild no? mm -hmm. those herbs and then we have cucumber we have uh, onions uh, the pineapple is not kedah pineapple is area pinang okay uh, because this is a real combination okay so what i have here then again uh, i have a sardine here mm -hmm. it's very simple you just get sardine from the can and open up and then smash it up here i have um uh, of course this is a, a rice bean salad mm -hmm. it's not laksa but i i mean i just imagine it it's almost like laksa uh, this is the, the real thing, the hero here. Uh, you can see here, this is a uh, bantrang or this is a uh, rice paper. Really? And this mostly you can get this from the uh, Asian grocery store and mostly this is come from Vietnam. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you just soak here in the water. Don't not The water not too hot and not cool. So you just put it in the water here. So it release. So it becomes slightly soft. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you look at it, uh, at this uh, rice paper, it almost look like uh, the ladies masking, no? Uh, yeah, before the they mask. go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they put on their face, so it look like. So we we leave it there for a while. Okay, okay and let's ah. let's be fixed from here. So uh, just remember, whenever you cook, yeah, to make sure the your base here something slippery that it won't stick there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So now I'm putting the banana leaf because just now the wooden board really stick. Uh, now what you have to do is the putting the salad, yeah. yeah salad and put some those shredded one on top here and then uh, you can have those uh, pineapples, pineapples. Yeah. Uh, you can have this um, shallot, shallot um, and the cucumber cucumber this one i'm using japanese cucumber mm -hmm. so and then you can have this vermicelli uh, just nice uh, simple thing like this uh, yeah so there yeah. and then uh, here the uh, you put the the, the sardine, sardine. So just spray it out and then of course now you just pour the the otak udang no? yep. the, the prawn the paste shrimp. Yeah, the shrimp paste you know into the uh, what you call it uh, rojak yeah. uh, you can do rojak as well mm -hmm. so I just put a little bit more uh, salad on top yeah so you have here by the side so the, the op for the sardine we can also do mackerel, right? If you yes, have time yes. to boil them. Yes, yes. So here, yeah, you, all you have to do is just pull it back mm -hmm. and then uh, just fold it up. Yeah, so now you have one roll there. Wow. Yeah? Yeah. So you have to do one roll there. So I put a bit here so it won't get dry. So normally what you do when you already like this, you have to cover with some wet cloth so it won't get, get, uh, get dry. So now uh, things, things are ready. Yeah. So we, so normally you have to cover it up, so no, no problem, I just have here, so we cut it to two, yeah. So if you can see it, yeah, so yeah. Oh, beautiful, yeah. Uh,